I wonder if they know Chevy is American made, not Italian. Huh. Makes you wonder. Nope. They must not know. Alrighty guys, so before we go ahead and get into this video, I'm going to actually say for myself that this is a paid advertisement by myself. Now, if you guys don't know, which I've never really aired it, I've posted, I think, in a couple places, but I now have a, a website for, to sell merchandise. That's right, a YouTuber with a website where you can buy merchandise. So I have the information, as you can see, displayed up here or down here. I'm not sure where it's going to be. But I have my own website, so definitely if you want to support the channel, head on over. Everything you obviously buy through through the website will 100% go back into the channel. But it is senditstevemerch.com. www.senditstevemerch.com. That's right. Go get your merch now, guys. All right, roll the footage from today. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. How I hope everyone out there is having a beautiful summer so far. I know school has just kicked back off for a lot of you. Uh, my kid just went back to school on Monday, which is kind of a gut-wrenching -wrench feeling to know that my kids are as old as they are at this point. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. So as you do know, I do absolutely love projects. And looking around, I've been kind of in the search. Ever since the window to, that got busted, I've been kind of in the search to really make this truck a show truck and lean it towards like just cleaning it up and kind of respecting this truck because I've been beating it and beating it and beating it. So as you guys do know, we do have some damage on this fender here. Um, so I kind of have it in my one search to always look for a bed. Actually, I was looking for the fenders, but I always put dually beds and one had popped up. So I'm not 100% sure that we are gonna use this one or not, um, but it is a good fender and I can buy it for next to no money anyway. So I might as well buy the bed. And I've also been thinking maybe, just maybe, we might put a dually bed on the Fred project. Now it is obviously a 99 and up bed. So it's gonna be the same as 99 to 2016. So I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to use it, but let's just jump in the truck and go get it. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, but uh, I'll set you there. I see the bed and I'm gonna go check it out real quick actually. Alrighty guys, so we got it all on, we got it strapped down, and uh, I mean, I might as well leave it as a truck cap at this point, but as you do know, we do need this fender for our truck so that we can make the F450 look good again. It actually has really nice lights on it, so that's kind of a win, and uh, we need the wheel liner there because I don't have one. So it also has the harness in it for the uh, uh, running lights or parking lights, whatever you want to call it. So I actually win, win, win all the way around. And uh, I mean, how can you go wrong? So let's jump back in the truck and head home. Whew, it's a hot one today. <sighs> All right, guys. So I'll kind of show you, you know, what I was talking about with like the lights and the wiring harness. As you can tell under here, um, I haven't had a wheel liner in here in a long time. Um, I I wanted to put one in. I definitely want to get one in before winter time. Also, because we have a sponsor, C4 Lighting has sent us some rock lights. Um, I believe they are, or they might be landmines. Um, I'll have to double check, but C4 Lighting was gracious to jump on board with this build because we are going to start to make this into a nice show truck. I mean, it is it is a nice truck. I know you guys are probably like, oh, why did you beat it up so bad? But we're going to get a different set of wheels and tires for it. Those are already ordered. They will be here very, very soon, actually. So we're going to get new wheels and tires. I'm going to actually drop. These are actually 40 inches tall. I'm going to drop down to a 35 inch tall tire, which is still going to be a, a significant tire and things like that. I don't know if I'm going to like the look and, you know, like the whole thing to do it. But it's something that I want to do. I want to drop down to a 35. Um, these tires do rub a little bit. I mean, as any lifted truck or anything. Um, but you can tell, you know, it got beat up here. We got a good fender here that will have it on it. And uh, the same thing with this side, which this is some of the damages like you guys don't get to see on your videos. But you can tell over here it's actually busted as well. And uh, I kind of got it zip tied held together. But you can tell on this side, 
<laughs> wires are definitely hanging this one rubs the dang tire so it's time guys it is time to get some new good fenders on the back of this truck and uh also i'm gonna take this down before we do anything i'm gonna take this down to danny's and test fit it for the 53 project so there you have it guys we have kind of a truck cap on the back and it's going to be up here for a while i'm not going to take it off it's going to stay on this truck for i'd say until i need it anyway to go camping but i mean as you can tell it's about to rain now and uh everything in here will be remain dry oh yeah i did get a tailgate maybe we'll flip this around real quick and put the tailgate on let's do it actually stand by <laughs> anybody that knows anything about tailgates knows how hard that just was to get to work but guys i kind of like it it's literally going to be weather tight stand by oh yeah you heard me slam it but it's literally weather tight i mean nothing can get in there how can we go wrong it's a truck cap for 500 bucks i mean i feel like that's a win 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 for me but there you guys have it guys if you like the content again this is part of the 53 build and it is also part to make the f450 look 100 percent better and be back to its you know i'd say pristine shape so i will end up taking it somewhere and uh we will get this repaired we will also i think i can get this out myself um i think i can pull this cap out and uh kind of pop this up so i'm going to probably try this as you might see in a video you might not if it comes out terrible i won't video if it comes out great i'll video it but then we also have the damage on the front that i want to go ahead and take care of um if you didn't see that video go check it out but we uh we ended up having a tree fall on it so i do want to make this truck nice i'm tired of beating it up it's going to be kind of a in retirement as you guys do know we have the urban bourbon so stay tuned for that video also that is coming out later this week we also have the obs build i mean you guys already know we got projects on projects so no one can ever say that my content is boring or repetitive because we never have the same thing so there you guys have it if you like it please give it a big thumbs up smash that like button please subscribe and i will see you in the next upload I love you guys. Roll the outro. I don't have an outro. Goodbye. Anyway, that was some of the footage. Um, we are on our way now to check out a frame. That's right, a frame for the Fred project. And I couldn't, you know, I'm excited about it, guys, because the Fred tr is a truck that I, you know, I've always wanted. I, I, I am excited. I love it. And uh, we're actually picking up a buddy of mine, Jason, here. He's uh, from Canada and he's in town for the weekend. So I said, hey, if you want, jump on in the truck and uh, we can go for a ride and uh, go check out this frame. So we got him sitting over here. How you doing, bud? Hey, how you doing? Uh, it, that thing doesn't look like it's from around here. No? no? <laughs> Come from Canada. From Canada, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how are you, bud? Long trip? It was a long trip. Yeah? <laughs> How are you? Good, I had good. your shirt on in my last video. I seen that. Yeah, you, you definitely. How are you? I'm Steve. Right. Nice to meet you. This is my buddy Kip. Nice to meet you. He's got a channel, yeah. America Bumper to Bumper. Oh, cool. America Bumper to Bumper. Check him out. Thank yeah. you. Thank cool. you. I love the yeah. shout out. Yeah. Definitely. And obviously, check out Jason, old car auto guy. Definitely. We don't all talk like Canadians, eh? Like, we're just regular guys. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So this is Grandma. This is Grandma. Wow. This is my... It's a lot cleaner than I thought it actually was. Well, it, it's it's super clean. It's actually dirty. We ran into some rain on the way here today. Yeah. But uh, it is a very clean car from being up north. Like, we get a lot of rust. Yeah. And uh, I drove by this thing several times before I finally stopped and said, you know what? It's in really good shape. I got to have it. Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's cool. Glad it made it. Oh, Glad it made it. Not a hitch. 25 no. miles a gallon. Wow. About 12 and a half. <laughs> and we drive this thing everywhere. Doesn't burn a drop of gas though either. <laughs> Not a drop of gas, yeah. Doesn't leak anything except for air conditioning uh, condensation. That's about it. Yeah. Well, if you want to go look at the frame, you're. Yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, jump in before we lose daylight. Just crawled up from under a rock. This is Cindy's team. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, I know a bunch of you guys are going to comment your comments about rust and this and that, but this is a pretty solid frame. And for the price, you can't really go wrong, especially since we're trying to do Fred on kind of a budget build. And uh, by my research, we will be able to put a 6.0 in where this 5.4 is. So I think we're going to take it and uh, 
We're gonna have a frame, a frame here for Fred. Oh, look how cool the little Herbie is. I'm coming, Herbie. I'm coming. Guys, I wouldn't mind honestly having like a 74 Super Beetle. That thing is freaking cool. Oh, I love it. All right, well, let's keep plugging. Listen to it too, it sounds just like Herbie. Oh, I want one. All right guys, new project. I'm gonna look for one. Look at that thing. Yeah, he's coming to your window. Look at that thing. That is cool.